Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Du and today I want to show you how to easily print multicolored prints with your single color printer. With the only limitation being that you can change colors only layer wise, otherwise it would get very complex. You need to have Marlin installed on your controller for this tutorial to work. And if you haven't, feel free to check out my other video about installing the mighty firmware first. If you followed my last video about how to add a filament runner sensor, you will see that this video is about the same firmware option as I explained those times. This also means that if you have added a state sensor, these features are already ready to use for you. But let's get started. As a first step, we need to enable the advanced underscore boss underscore feature in the Marlin configuration underscore adv.h file by simply removing the two forward slashes at the beginning of the line. Then you can set your preferred settings like where the printhead should move to, how much it should raise C-wise, retract and even unload once the boss command arrives. The printer will also alert you in this case with some beeps if it has a buzzer and cools down the nozzle after a short time to save energy. The instructions on the LCD are easy to follow so you can swap out your color without needing to worry that you destroy your print. Advanced Boss furthermore adds a new change filament setting into the prepare and tune menu and also allows you to initiate a filament change via the M600 command, which is the option we want to explore today. Now, as the software is configured, don't forget to install it onto the printer. Once completed, load up a model you want to have multicolored, like this traffic cone, which comes as a typical single color model. With 0.2mm layer heights, the default scaled model is exactly 250 layers high. The base color should be orange, with white stripes being between layer 50 and 90 and 130 and 170. Now, let's save the sliced model as a file and open it up using a text editor like Nubelt++. Search for semicolon layer colon and your layer number using the Ctrl and F menu and hit enter. You should end up anywhere deep in the file where the new layer starts. Remember, we need to add a M600 comment to initiate a filament change, which is what we are going to do. A semicolon just describes a comment, so don't worry about. Once I've added all four M600s, I save the file and copy it onto the SD card, ready for printing. By the way, I also 2D printed a small recipe with my label printer, helping me to avoid any confusion with the colors. After the print finishes layer 50, the nozzle moves to the front left corner and the printer starts beeping. I inserted the white PLA to print until layer 90, where I switch back to orange. White again at layer 130 up to 170, finishing the print with orange. Oh, and something important. While the layer view in Cura displays layers starting with 1, in the G code they start with 0, so take care about that. If we print something like this small plate, you basically have to get it right to achieve great results. And that's basically it for this video. I've spent the last three weekends on preparing for my next videos and the future of this channel, like printing most upgrades for the 82 Plus, adding dual extrusion to my A8 and building this thing, DFL Sun Cube, all of which I will plan to release videos soon. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.